Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Rocks. It's Tracy and this is another open with me and it's one of these bumper packs. Now, a couple of times in the past when I've bought bumper packs, um, I've had old magazines inside, but I don't think that's the case this time. So this is a knitting and crochet with a Let's Knit and an Amigurumi pack inside. So this bumper value is worth £33. Um, so, yeah, let's get inside, shall we, and have a little look and see what we've got. Free Mega 10 Ball Yarn. So we'll have a, have a look and see what we've got inside. I don't see so many of these in my local shops anymore. For some reason, they've stopped doing so many magazines, but I've managed to find a few further afield so all is not lost okay that's got rid of the nasty rustling so we've got net let's knit knitting and crochet and puppy parade which is um, a little pattern collection and party pals six gorgeous yarns inside so obviously this, this is part of the knitting magazine because they're all knitted. So let's have a look, shall we, and see what well, this side is actually opening. So here's our little yarn pack. They're only the little small balls. Don't even have labels on these. I'm not sure if it's just yarn inside, but the patterns are in there as well. I think there's a leaflet anyway. It's not a very big leaflet. But they are there. So that's the yarn and the patterns to make our little party pals. So they're quite cute, really, aren't they? So let's put them aside for a sec. Running out of places to put things. Okay, so puppy parade. So we've got some cute little doggies. I must say this is my favourite one. But this is part of the knitting magazine, I dare say so, because I don't think there's any crochet in it. So we've got a f well, they're just full of all those patterns, so they're quite nice. I do like this little shaggy guy, though. He's cute. And so is this one. Look at that. Oh. Sometimes I wish I did do amigurumis. It's not that I can't. It's just that I don't. Oh, Hello. Got a little box asleep. So they're quite cool, aren't they? He reminds me of Gromit a little bit. But he's called Rascal the Dog. He's not Gromit. And here we got these guys. Frankie and Winnie. Okay, so that's the little oh, there we go. Another little one on the back. Adorable Daphne, this one. So that's a little booklet of patterns. Put that to one side for a moment. So we'll start with the Let's Knit and finish with the knitting and crochet. Whoops, sorry. Almost knocked you senseless then, didn't I? That wasn't very good, was it? Anyway, so let's knit then. What have we got? We've got vintage style for modern makers. What kind of cool cushion and fancy fibers buyer's guide to fashion yarns charity corner use your needles to help a cause step back in time discover the fascinating history of knitting simple knits with added frills i quite like this cardigan that's quite nice so that make this in sizes 8 to 26 that's obviously uk sizing so let's move my speaker out of the way and um, just the welcome page and there's a picture of all of the patterns that you'll find inside quite a nice scarf but it's quite lacy so if I was going to make something lacy I'd probably do it crochet but I quite like this cardigan I must say I like the kind of stripe pattern I like rib and I also like the fact that it's shaped around here. So many crochet ones 
don't really have a great deal of shape in. And it's not that you can't do it, but people, when they're making these patterns, they don't seem to do it, which I never understand. Really? So what we've got here, that's just an advert for King Cole. Party Pals collection, that's just telling you what's in the little supplement. So you get a 10 ball yarn kit free worth 7 99 Is that if you subscribe? Oh, I don't know. Let's see. 10 balls, DK yarn. It can, da, da, da. what do we have to do? Turn to page 88 with details. So you probably have to send off for that one. I never find I have a great deal of success with these offers when they ask when they say you have to do things like that. So here we are. Want to see it? No, see it, want it, love it. Sorry, eyesight's not. Come on, put glasses on. Might help. Not much though. So this is Jodie Sheehan presents our top buys for August. Oh, okay. So we've got bits and pieces that they have picked out for us. Green fingers. Is that stitch markers? They're yeah, kind of cool, aren't they? There we go, look, gardening green fingers stitch markers. So if you want to see that, then all different places we can get hold of these things. Knit it, write it, share it. What's this? We'd love to hear from you. Check out your amazing projects. So kind of show and tell of readers makes. So that's kind of uh, standard always have those in magazines. And there's more on that page as well. So we're out and about with bonus scenery. I don't know. Lots of kind of very small editorials and adverts in this magazine. Pretty Knits collection. What have we got here then? This is, are these on all in this magazine, I wonder? I think they are, because I remember this from the front cover. So that's good. Tells you what pages they're on as well. We do have some nice patterns, and there's the cardigan that I quite liked. Page 27. These all remind me of my aunt. Um, when I was little, everything she wore was very similar to this. All of these patterns. And she probably knitted them herself. My Aunt Marge. <laughs> so this is the fluted V-neck collar top. So there's a lot of things with these frills on at the moment. I've seen around in the shop. So it's kind of in at the moment. Not keen on the sleeves though. Not really liking those. They'd have to come down a bit lower for me and not have a split. Not more like this one. So those sleeves are more my style. I don't really... Sorry, I'm a bit croaky voice today. I um I do three-quarter lengths and about this length, but I don't really like short or cap sleeves, like really short. But I do like the decoration on the back here. That's really pretty. I like that. That's very nice. So this is the Bishop Sleeves Lace Cardi. Bishop Sleeves. A bit baggy for my liking. I'm not lover of baggy sleeves but there's charts and instructions there it's quite a nice pattern though with all the uh, diamond shapes short sleeve cable sweater that's kind of nice because traditionally cable sweaters are chunky but this one's really fine uh, that's not bad and the sleeves are a good length for me plunge front rib cardi Plunge front. Plunge. I don't really get that because I think of plunging as a plunging neckline. But I can't exactly call that plunging neckline. It's a cardigan. Not really sure what they mean about plunge front. Maybe someone can uh, educate me there. But there we go. Lots of instructions for that one. Free emu... 100 my well, 1200 gram yarn bundle when you subscribe to let's knit so that might be a good idea then emu's very nice yarn i have to say so 
there you go. Quote that little code, L-O-81-P. And you can get six issues for £35. It's not bad. And there's the yarn. Who doesn't love a bit of free yarn? So this is an advert for the Signet. And this is that Pato yarn. Quite like that. It's not bad yarn, actually. It's quite soft. So they've gone on for the vintage style. So there's this kind of lots of these baggy blues on type sleeves. A scarf. Pictures are a bit small, so let's go on. So hot products. Here we go. Showing you some of the products that you can buy and little reviews on them. So do they show you the prices? Some magazines do, but I don't look like this one does. Just tells you about it. Oh, excuse me. That was a gurgle. I do apologise. That bottom one shows the prices. But that's the only one. So Vintage Vibes starts with the lacy scarf. Now that's quite pretty. I do like that. But it reminds me of a crocheted chevron stitch. It is nice. I like this part as well. A little bit of, you know, what's the word? Styling. So it's not all the same. It's quite pretty. And it's not too long. So we've got a French Fancy. It's a bag. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. I've never really thought of knitting a bag. I've crocheted bags, but never knitted a bag. It looks quite simple as well. Simple stitches. And don't we all love that? Well, some people don't. Some people are very clever and can do these intricate stitches quite easily. But that is actually using it as a makeup bag. But you could use it as a clutch if you wanted to. It's all lined nicely. Neapolitan Knits. So we've got some reviews and stuff. Show you where you can find things. So we've got Shabby Chic. That's the, the cushion. So I've only ever crocheted flowers and roses. I've never knitted them. But it's quite a pretty cushion. I like the colours. I like the, the cream with the blue and the pinks and the pastel green. Very nice. Bags of beauty. So we've got more bags. That's not bad, is it? A couple of bag patterns. Fashion fibres. So here we go. There's their piece on the fashion fibres. So that's not bad. I like it when they do little reviews. And they do have prices. They say that this Snuggle Up by Stylecraft Cozy Delight is recommended at £4.25 for 100 grams. So I like it when they put that. I like the Bubblicious, I have to say. Sorry, I didn't show you it, did I? This was the one I was reading. So, yeah, I always find Rowan a bit on the expensive side. What is it saying? Yeah, there we go. So this is supposedly £13.50 for a 50 gram ball. Well, I won't be buying that. I don't see the point. There's plenty of nice yarns out there. I don't need to pay for that. In the next issue, there we go. What's in the next issue? We've got some free yarn again. Um, free violet yarn kit. And a few patterns that look prom promising. Wreaths for all seasons. Never really had a summer wreath. Only Christmas. But I guess you could make them for any time. Got one for afternoon tea. So if you fancy making wreaths, got quite a few to choose from in this one. Let's knit together. Join today, £7.99 a month, and get your first month for just a pound. That's joining their UK's friendliest knitting community. I don't think there's a code for that, so I don't need to hold it up. Oh, he's quite cute, isn't he? So I've got a bear with a honey pot. Oh, that's cool. But I don't think he's Paddington, though, is he? Or Pooh, should I say. Just shows you how to make him, and you will need a glue gun, obviously, for this. Crafter's Corner, so lots of adverts for 
shops and stuff. It's just stuck together, is it me? Mr. Onion. Mr. Onion. <laughs> We've also got Tea Break, which is well, cryptic quizzes and wordplay. That's kind of cool. That's, I like that. But Mr. Onion. I do like Mr. Onion. I don't know why. It's tickled me. And there's how to make him. <laughs> I like his layers, I must say. Let's Knit Together exclusive for members again. Another advert for that. And here we've got shawls for all. So I have some of this yarn. I sent it in um, either Happy Mail or Yarn Swap. I've got some of that somewhere, but it's blue. That looks like this... But it isn't the same, actually. That's a sheep as well. But it looks very similar to the Stitch Studio by Nicole. The cotton colours. Only the one I have is blue, but it's very, very similar. Creative Grandma sent me that when we did a yarn swap. So these are all the shawls. I do like this one. That's kind of pretty. I didn't actually notice if they had one on the previous page. Come on, they this one. Hard to see when it's draped around like that, I think. So there's a few there. And this is the Hot House shawl. Very close knit for a shawl, isn't it? See, I'm not a fan of big, um, massive, holy, lacy stitches, but that does seem quite closed in. So you can follow Let's Knit on Instagram. This is the Summer Tide. Again, very close, but I like that one. I like the, I kind of like the beach and nautical things. It's quite big. Lots of patterns in this one. Summer sale now on. Sensational savings up to 62% off. Um, subscribe today. Visit gifts to you. There's the code. Mm, okay, I thought we'd already had a code for that. I don't know why they've got another one. Maybe it's something else. Modern men's knits. It's quite a lot in this magazine. So who can make this lovely doggy neckerchief? So that your dog can have a nice jaunty little neckerchief. I can remember Gemma always had little little neckerchiefs for for Negan after he'd been clipped. And he always had one on. So here we've got crochet essentials. Little couple of pages dedicated to crochet. Mm. Not much though. And learn to crochet. Why? In the back of the knitting magazine. I don't understand it. And here's a triceratops. <laughs> I let you into a little secret. You know, when I was at school, that was my nickname, triceratops. And he is crocheted. Or she. The triceratops. So we got a little bit of crochet. And we've got more bits of editorial and a bit of history all about stocking, stitchy espionage, the roaring 20s. I kind of like things like that, I like reading all the history. So what's the secret? I don't know, you tell me. Discover top tips for tricky techniques. That's not bad. quite like things like that. And they give you little workarounds. There's that scarf again. A little bit on that one. Know-how. Knitter's know-how. How to cast on square of the month is this one. So they must have a square of the month in their magazines. And this is all about measurements and sizing. Last minute make. Yarn band. I've seen this before. The hat band rather. Yarn band. <coughs> Excuse me. A um, bit about finishing and abbreviations. Sewing together. Beginning a seam. Mattress stitch. So there's quite a lot of technical know-how bits. And that's that. So, that's that one. Let's get... Where did I put it? 
this one i quite like these bumper packs though i must say so what have we got this is more up my street bit of knitting and crochet hello summer patterns get some sunshine on your hook and needles add squares to your blanket suss out your striping practice zip, zips and bubbles and kathy facet interview try cable knitting so in the ma in oh, 39 happy makes bonus makes frida carlo doll erica knight dress and unicorn slippers so let's have a little look so there's the hello bit meet the team and here we go this is what's in it this must be the slippers so i like the the little is it a bumblebee I think it's a bee. That's kind of cute. Your Gracie yarn kit. Well, I don't know if you have to send off for that or if this was just this particular magazine on the shelf, if there would have been a bundle. But it's not the Beyond kit that I did get. So I don't know about that one. Maybe if it was, if I say, on its own, on the shelf, it would have had that with it. So this is also pretty cute. Use your sparkly yarn. So I guess there's the sparkly. It would have been there. Newsflash. I pick of colourful buys for summer. I don't know if these are patterns in here though. But we'll go on. So here's the lady bumble. I think mean, she's kind of cute. Look at that. Pretty sweet little bumblebee. And there's the instructions. Mia the monkey. I like that one too. With the sparkly yarn, which we didn't get. Lola the beagle. Now that is pretty, but that one's a knit. The other two were crocheted. Lots of patterns in this one. Hair scrunches. Now I've used to make a lot of those. But I don't tend to use those anymore. I use, I haven't got any in here. Yes, I have. I use these now because if you buy these, it doesn't leave bumps in your hair. You know, if you put your hair in a ponytail. So um, for some reason, they fall out. If you do have a bump, they fall out straight away after a little while anyway. So it doesn't make all those horrible bumps. Um, so I don't tend to make them anymore. So you're obsessed with our bears, so some readers makes, I guess. And I think it's all uh, what people have made. Your four-part blanket along. So here we go. These are the squares. Now, I was, might have mentioned this before, but um, I did have a magazine I was subscribed to once that had a throw, which was all different textures, and it didn't have bright colours like this. It was all muted tones. But... Um, and I had to get rid of it in the end because they kept not sending me the stuff that they were meant to. But this is quite nice. So you've got Alpine Stitch and Puff Stitch. So they must have a couple of them then. Make two of those, make two of those. So it's four squares all together. So this blanket sponsored by Mariner Yarns. And a little while ago, you might remember if you've been on my channel for a while, but I did a Mariner's... Um, yarn haul. Oh, we've got some more squares. That's cool, isn't it? At least you don't have to sort of wait too long. They give you quite a lot of them, um, you know, at once. So this must be all of the ones that are in this magazine. So you get, and you're making two of each. So it gives you 12 of the squares. It's not bad. So Cosmos. What are we doing here? Let's have a look. Warmer days are coming, and that means summer nights spent stargazing. Okay, so this is just a bit of advertising different yarns, and it has got the prices on them, which is pretty cool. I like it when they do that. This is the James C. Brett top value. I must admit, sometimes you can pick that up and it's quite soft, and other times it's not. So, so it's worth, rather than buying it online, it's worth having a good feel of that. I would say. 
So we've got the sheep is, I always call it that, I know it's not pronounced that, but £4.45 for a 50 gram ball. And the Cotton DK Classic by Stylecraft is a 50 gram ball and it's £2.30. So West Yorkshire Spinners had a little bit of theirs, but not, not so much. How does that compare? £6.50 for 100 grams. And this cotton sparkly, is it sparkly? It just doesn't, it's just called mist, so maybe it's just fleck. And that is three ninety eight for 100 grams. So that's kind of good value. And for those of you who um, are waiting patiently for updates about Hobby Rocks, I will be, I will be stocking King Cole for definite and James C. Brett. They're ones that I've got confirmed. I've got quite a few confirmed, really, but definitely will be t uh, stocking those. So, uh, free bumper bundle when you subscribe to Let's Get Crafting. So, there you go. If you want to look at that, there's the code. Um, so, I don't know if this, this is it. Knitting and Crochet Magazine. Let's Get Crafting. So, what do you get? Cover gifts worth over £70 across the year. Interviews with industry experts. £10,000 worth of giveaways across the year. 400 plus patterns for toys, accessories, homeware and more. Free delivery straight to your door before it hits the shops and spread the cost by direct debits. So, three issues for twenty six ninety six, And there's your quote number. I don't know... If you'd get the two balls of oh, you get two balls of Derrimores included to make Mabel Bunny and Co. Okay, moving on. Knitting versus crochet. Join Cinnamon and Ginger getting your glad rags on. So same bunny or bear, <laughs> same bear bunny, whatever it is. Bear. Um, two ways. So I actually like the look of Amigurumi crocheted, but I like the look of the dress in the knitting. So we could always, if you can do both, make the bear out of crochet and dress it in knitting. That'd be kind of fun. I just think it looked nicer. So this is that um, Cafe Facet House of Many Colours editorial if you want to read about that here we've got competitions click and win entering is easy as one two three winning isn't no i never win anything ella doll if you want to make ella mostly i couldn't win a competition if i was the only one in it i'm really unlucky very so i'll just stop bothering so we've got british knitting and crochet awards nominations are now open so you've got a nice page to send off should you fancy so this is Frida Kahlo embrace your inner creative and make the iconic Frida Kahlo so fancy that one brioche burger <laughs> love this pattern we've got a hot dog as well look at that I've never crocheted a burger. I've done, I've done a donut. It's actually a tutorial on my channel. For my only piece of amigurumi. <laughs> so we've got a bobbly bag. I'd say that's more like a pencil case, but obviously they've got their hooks in it. You'd have to line it, wouldn't you? But that's knitted. Plant pot hanger. Bit of kind of macrame sort of thing. So we've got more fibre focus and yarns reviewed now these are the unicorn slippers they're kind of nice i like those hmm, that might be a nice little thing to make for river uh, i know um sophia would have loved them so mug rugs instead of coasters you can make a mug rug that's uh kind of nice this is angus and alice spend the day on the farm with them some more patterns for amigurumi coming next issue gala 
Okay, so what we've got... Oh, yeah, I've actually had this one. So this is an older one, isn't it? Because I've had the hammerhead, unless they're doing it again. Baby cardigan. Bit of an odd shape, I have to say, the way it comes across. Not sure about that. Oh, a very long dress. Right, okay, not my cup of tea, but I'm sure there are people who love that. Very, very grey, isn't it? Look at the size of it. Wow. Wow, very warm. Be too warm for me. Not very, um, I never wear a pullover or anything. New to knitting or crochet. You'll get the hang of it in no time with our certified visual guides. Let's have a little looky at the visual guides. And they look like everybody else's visual guides. I wouldn't say they were like that much of a wow factor in them. So we've got all the learn to bits and who does what in, in magazines, if we care. James Chandler editorial tea and chat with and that's it so there wasn't much in the way of um educational guides so that's it not a bad bumper but just as i said before obviously getting this magazine you get this anyway but you get this so whether that means then it is slightly older than the one that had the hammerhead shark or whether they've just got that pattern in as well. I don't know. So where's my yarn gone? That's the sound of my chair creaking under the strain. So and that's that's what we got then. What do you think of that? Tell me what you fancy in making out of there, if anything. I quite like this cushion, I have to say. I do like the um, blanket as well. There's quite a lot in there I like. There's a lot of the amigurumis I like, but as you know, I don't make them. So you never know one day, maybe, maybe one day. So thanks for watching. Stay safe and take care. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. You'll be informed when there are new videos and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.